In this video, I'm going to go over four tips at how you can master video editing quicker as more of a professional and do it just like the pros do. Starting with tip number one, let me go to my screen here for tip number one. You got to know what the medium is. So you go to your project, this is your project, and in the settings, if you click on the project sequence name, let me name it to test project sequence one. Okay, click on the project sequence name and you're gonna have this part open next to That and you're gonna modify project. So right now I have set this clip to IGTV, okay? It's IGTV. Normally, if you send something to YouTube, or it, <clears throat> you know, the days of the 4x3, 480i sent to the TV screen, and back in the 90s for regular broadcast TV are done and gone. 720p. Or 1080p if you do that that's that's a perfect clip for a normal widescreen video for YouTube Facebook watch normal video but say you want to send it to IGTV you're gonna go over back into the settings in the project and set the video resolution to custom and you want to reverse this rev resolution I almost said revolution but you want to set you want to reverse this resolution to 1080 by 1920 reverse that and now it's set to IGTV uh, it's it's a vertical video and that's that's the exact it's the exact opposite of 16 by 9 it's 9 by 16 so you're reversing the width and the height and you're making it that so that's know where your project is going so you know how to format it and and what 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 fits in what box uh, one more example would be go back into this t the sequence as custom you can set it by 1080 by 1080 and that's a square for Facebook, a, a, a one of those posts for Facebook. You can add the text on top and the bottom for for the scroll for you know people like to see text top and the bottom of the post to stop on. So that's tip number one. Know what medium is your video tended for. All right, tip number two. Use shortcuts. So I use. I might have used one already, but I'm doing it right now. And you can see I'm hitting zoom, Z for zoom, A for the pointer, H for hand tool, B for blade tool, make a cut. You can see all those right here, like in Final Cut Pro X. You can see all the letters for the shortcuts. Or if you click on menus, the shortcuts are always out next to it. And memorize what you use most to make your workflow more efficient memorize those shortcuts and if you know that you don't have to go up to the menu you can just do that do a zoom tool zoom in do a hand tool and then a blade to cut here boom 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 take it back take it zoom all the way out and that's that's how you work more efficiently in your editing workflow so that's tip number three or two rather use shortcuts number three <clears throat> is use the zoom tool which I just mentioned hit Z for and you see the Z for zoom you will see the magnifying glass no not the mag yeah it's a little magnifying glass you will see that and once you see that you can click on a certain piece of and you can go all the way in and these are now you're looking at each frame and you can bring up the blade tool make a cut there 
make a cut there, make a cut there, and you're cutting frame by frame. And then using the hand tool again, the shortcuts, you can drag here, go back, I wanna make a cut, make a cut there, and then there, and there. And then zoom all the way back out. Again, using shortcuts and using the zoom tool is a game changer and it makes your workflow of editing that much more efficient. And the last tip I have for you at editing tips and tricks is to dedicate each layer video. You should have at least two. I only have one audio set, but to show you another, there's a second layer of audio. You should have at least two audio tracks. And then your first video layer, you can have many layers. But usually you have your master, then layered on top of that is your B-roll to, to or footage you cut to from your master so you don't have to have a, have a static shot and then the third video layer is for text graphics I, it's normally you can organize it however you want but you, I'd put text and graphics on one usually at the top on the top very top layer because they have to show on top unless you want it to be covered up then you'd put text down below this and it'll cover it up and then you can reveal it as such however you want but yeah master b-roll text graphics as as a good general rule of thumb and if you like this video check out my podcasting setup that I actually do and I did a live stream on this check that out here in Podcasting 101.